Hi friends, hope you are doing well. This morning I was spending time with the Lord and as I was spending time with the Lord, the Lord was telling me many things and I believe this is not only for me and this is for many and uh, I want to share that with you. Uh, I want to share that as an encouragement, as something that will build you up. This morning when I was spending time with the Lord, the Lord was telling me, encouraging me to go into deeper relationship with him, more deeper. In fact, he was drawing me through the prayer. He was drawing me into a deeper relationship with him. And uh, I kept praying and I kept praising him. I kept worshipping him. And uh, as I was doing that, the Lord was revealing me that there are many who are living in their discouragement, in their anxiety, in their uh, defeated mindset, in their victim mindset and in their limitations. They are living for a long time and uh, they are believers actually and they, they believe in God and uh, they are praying from that mindset and they are expecting something God to do in their life. and. Uh, that uh, understanding, that mindset is kind of a room, room of depression, room of discouragement, room of defeated understanding, room of anxiety. And they're living inside that room. And that from that room, they are seeing their life. From their room, they are trying to live a life uh, that God has called them to, God called them to live. But uh, they cannot live uh, uh, a life that God called them to live. Uh, while they are uh, living in a defeated mindset, while they are living in a discouraged mindset, while, while they are living in a, a mindset of anxiety. And there are many who are trying to do that. And then God uh, told me that uh, they need to break open from there. They need to come out from there. And then I was asking God how. Then God was showing me a key. And then I asked God, what is the key? Uh, God said, this is the key which will uh, help them to break open from that defeated mindset, that, from that anxiety mindset, from that room, they will come out. And I asked God, what is the key? God said that, that God, the key is the prayer. And uh, God said that is not normal prayer. That is a prayer of breaking strongholds, prayer of breaking anxiety, prayer of breaking defeated mindset, prayer, prayer of uh, breaking all those uh, victim mindset that that person is living for a long time. Many of us, even though we believe in Jesus Christ, we live in a defeated mindset. We live in anxiety. We live in uh, discouragement and we think that is normal. But God has not called us to live that lifestyle. God has not called us to live in a defeated victim mindset actually. And that is you are living there because of you are holding on strongholds in your mind. Those things are strongholds. Those things are not real. Those things are not real. Those things are creating fear in your life. And God is telling you to break open from there. Come out from there so that you can you can see the victorious life that God has called you to live. The, the God gave you new life so, so that you can live that new life every day. You can live a victorious lifestyle. You can live a life of freedom and joy and righteousness and mercy. And then God said that uh, there, are, there are people living in this mindset and they are not able to see things around uh, according to my understanding. According to God's understanding, they are not able to see. They are always seeing things according to their defeated mindset. They are always trying to see things from their defeated mindsets as if they are putting on a sunglass of failure, defeat, discouragement, victim mindset. And they're seeing everything with that, that kind of sun, sunglass. So they are seeing everything everywhere. They can see themselves defeated, uh, discouraged, um, unworthy, that kind of mindset. And God is saying that when they will break out, they, when they, they will come out from that mindset, they will be able to see things as I see. And they need to, they should see things as I see things around the world. They should see things in the spirit. They should understand things in the spiritual realm. And then God uh, told me that in the same time, uh, the, the people need to receive things from me. They should receive things from me so that they will be empowered. They should be 
they'll be strengthened they should be uh, uh, encouraged and uh, they should build up then i asked god what is that people should receive from you the god said that they should receive everlasting love from me they should receive everlasting joy the the peace that i can give the world cannot give they should receive those things they should receive forgiveness of sin they should receive righteousness of god they should receive the mercy of god they should receive these things and then god said that you know people they are seeking these things from others they are seeking these things from the world they are seeking these things from uh, people who are close to them maybe uh, you are trying to find the, these things from your spouse from your friends from your family members god is saying that because they are seeking for these things from the wrong sources that's why they are not able to receive it you cannot receive the love of god you cannot receive the joy the peace from the people they are limited and god is saying that i am un unlimited i can give you limitless love everlasting love i can give you i can give you the joy and peace that world cannot give so god is saying that these people should receive things from me and i will give them these things and when they will receive it from me they will be empowered from inside they will be strengthened from inside they will be filled with your their the, my joy peace and uh, mercy and righteousness and they will be empowered uh, from inside and they will come out all their wrong mindset wrong understandings doubts fear shame and guilt and at the same time uh, they need to learn to operate in faith they need to learn to operate in faith when i was thinking that uh, it reminded me of some scripture i want to read those scriptures for you uh, basically it's from isaiah chapter 61 where isaiah chapter 61 uh, verse 3 if we read here it says that here one place it says that the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness uh, sometimes uh, those discouragements are spirit of heaviness for us but then god says that when you have the garment of praise you worship praise and glorify god you break open from the spirit of heaviness spirit of heaviness uh, is, a, is a is a situation is a place actually where we live we try to live uh, like the depression comes with the black clouds and all that is kind of uh, uh, discouragement sometimes you are so discouraged you are not able to see things good around you 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 are not able to understand what god is trying to do in your life because you are so discouraged and disappointed your god word says that Uh, that uh, he wants to give garment of he, uh, uh, he want to uh, verse 3 says that uh, the, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness garment of pre, uh, praise for the spirit of heaviness uh, god wants to bring us out from the spirit of heaviness not only that if you read uh, from isaiah chapter 61 1 2 3 if you if you read it talks about someone who has spirit of god on him and it is applicable for jesus christ that's true but it is also applicable for us who are having the spirit of god inside us and it says that the person who is having spirit of god is anointed by god and he is anointed to preach the good news to heal the sick to cast out demons and to set the captive free who are those people you you are that person you are you we are that that kind of person actually we are the believers god anointed us with the holy spirit so that we can operate in the spirit we can operate in the holy spirit so that we can preach the good news we can set the captive free we can we, we, we can we can we can proclaim the proclaim the uh, proclaim uh, uh, the kingdom of god actually god has called us for that but then when we are we are living in discouragement disappointment we are limiting ourselves we are living in bondage we are living in strongholds of our mind and we are not able to come out of that we are seeing things in a different way we are not uh, uh, able to take step of faith as god wants us to do actually we are living in some kind of bondage actually so god was trying to encourage me and tell me that i want i am there actually and i am the lord of everything lord of everything what is happening around their life sometimes people people uh, give excuses saying no 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 but in my life there are problem going on in my in my family there are problem and god was telling me that there are problem in life in there are problem in the family there are a lot of problem in people's life uh, but tell them that above that above that i am the lord i am the lord of the universe and everything is known to me i know everything what is going on and everything is in my control actually so we should we should trust him whatever is happening we should obey him what he is doing and he will uphold everything he will uphold everything and god is god is powerful and merciful and gracious he will do mighty things actually 
we should not fear evil we should not uh, we should not come under any kinds of bondage and uh, we should not fear anything of the enemy because god he is the lord of the universe and we are we are standing with him and he wants to empower us or actually he has done that for us but we need to realize that we need to understand that and we need to receive his love and joy and mercy continuously so that we can live a victorious life actually god called us to live a victorious life not a defeated life not a fearful life not a life of uh, failure not a life of discouragement but he wants us to live a life of victory every single day and that is what i want to encourage you this morning saying that god is uh, telling you to break up and come out of that and empowered by the power of God, strength of God and his put on Jesus Christ, put on his strength, receive his love, receive his peace and joy that world cannot give and empowered by that and live in his righteousness, live in his freedom. And I believe God is going to guide you. God is going to help you. And uh, yeah, he's, he, he's, he's a merciful God. 